this is Alicia with a small Hobby Lobby haul and I'm gonna try to hold my hand still here I'm doing this with my iPhone because I forgot my camera so um, I didn't spend too much money there a little like right around $20 and um, all of the paper shop and not just paper shop paper studio and stamp abilities were half off so I got a few things um, this is a shoe sticker stick abilities um, baking obviously I have a lot of stuff with my kids and I baking together and I want to scrapbook that and then I also got three bags of these white they're like small lunch sacks um, and those were $1.50 for each bag I'm going to be making my husband is coaching my two daughters little league team this year and their angels I'm going to make each parent um, a little scrapbook of their kid over the year with the paper bag albums so maybe I'll show those later on the video and I also got this wood grain, let me grab it, wood grain embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that really, really well there. I love wood grain stuff. A lot of natural elements I like, so I was excited to see that. I haven't broke my rule there, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I use wood grain a lot in other things, so I'm sure I will come up with something. Um, some cupcake stickers that match some paper I'll show you in a minute. I do have a specific layout in mind for that. And then these little... Um, pearl like flourishes. Um, I use the pearls and rhinestones all the time and love them and I've always been kind of nervous about the flourishes but I love them too. So I'm going to get over my nerves and use those on something soon. Um, some papers I got. These were each like, let's see, about 30 cents. Um, this is a baking, let's say, baking one. It's got little rolling pins and oven mitts and mixing bowls and stuff that's really cute. Got a 12 by 12 of that and then cupcakes. Um, I have some pictures of my daughter, my middle daughter, the first time she had a cupcake. She was like 18 months old and hilarious pictures of her like lapsing into a sugar coma that I'm going to be using those for. Um, some red star paper, probably will use this on a 4th of July spread of some sort. And um, these, I got three different wood grain papers here because I love these. I actually bought all three of these before and used them all up. And so when I saw them on sale and realized that they were part of the 50% off thing, I was like, I am grabbing at least one more of each color. But I restrained myself because I need to restrain myself. Um, and then these these two fireworks papers are actually for a book book project for my son, my third grader. He's doing a cereal box book report, and firecrackers were um, a large part of the story he read. So we got that for decoration as a book project. Again, some baseball stuff for baseball spreads and things. I will probably not use these on the white paper bag albums I mentioned earlier. I'll probably use these on layouts of my kids that are going to go in my scrapbooks. But there's, I've got two pages of this cute one that's like kind of weathered looking with the baseball stitching around the edge. And then two pieces of this that's kind of weathered looking baseballs and then the nicer looking baseballs as well. And these are kind of out of the ordinary for me as far as style, but... I think that I will like them. And I got some smaller wood grain, eight and a half by 11 sheets. These I'm thinking again, something summery. These four together. There's like a wood grain, the gingham, denim, and then the handkerchief style. And these were only 22 cents a sheet. And then I got two of these sheets of vellum with silver stars on it. Cause I love them. I will use them in December daily if nothing else, but I might use them for other things too because I just absolutely love them and they were like 40 something cents each. And then the last thing I got my daughter, my youngest one was shopping with me and she talked me into this one because she saw it and she recognized her name. Her name's Olivia and she is always asking me to bake cupcakes with her and cookies. And so we got this, Let's see if I can show you some of the pages. This one, it's got like old fashioned recipe cards and it has some of this just kind of an old background. It's kind of antique -y looking. Um, some strawberry vines, some check. I probably won't use it much. A little cupcake platter background page. Um, so like spice labels and such. I think there's four of each sheet in this pad. Now they're just like antique writing, knives and forks and spoons. Some more like old lady wallpaper look. Pretty stuff that can go with lots of things and different recipe cards um, more old lady wallpaper look what is this uh, spice spice labels like old-fashioned spice labels like from mercantile store cupcake pages 
some like peach and black dot cherries some little cut aparts that are nice um cute like mixing bowl and stuff so I will I'm sure I will think of lots of things to do with this um I did get a few other things at Joann's last week I had a, a, a Tuesday morning and stuff I have really been hitting the sales lately but um, I already put that away and didn't really have time to well, here's a cute little got these little binding things at Joann's they're like there's little, little, little rose, the resin flowers and some buttons and some sequins and some of the rhinestone things. And I love the, like the aqua collection of them and some, most of the stuff in here was a dollar per package, which I was excited about. Um, but my husband is heading into nursing school soon and it's an accelerated program and won't be starting. He won't be working during that time. Um, we'll be living off of his very small retirement from when he was in law enforcement, and um, I will still be keeping the home fires burning. So I will, I am going to be making an extra effort this coming year to scrap pretty much from my stash and not anything else. And I am already in the process of actually cleaning out my scrap room, which sounds opposite. If I want to shop from my stash, you'd think I would hoard it, but I find I create easier when I have more limited things. So I am will be coming back with videos on layouts and how I'm putting together my own stuff a little bit at a, at a time to use my stuff to scrap to stash scrap my stash. Yeah, that's how you say it. And um, instead of doing haul videos and um, sharing more projects with you, both on YouTube and on my blog. So I will be back soon with my probably with a tour of my scrap room after it's cleaned out and reorganized and I will also probably be selling some stuff so you can look forward to maybe getting some stuff for your stash and um, and then in the future also sharing some layouts and how I use sketches and um, how I'm going to make sure that I'm using what I have instead of buying new stuff so until next time